Let's take a look at sound in this flashcard. Now sound is caused by mechanical vibrations. Vibrations, good keyword for you, which make pressure waves move through a substance. Now note, sound needs a substance. That could be air, but it could also be a solid metal bar, for instance, or it could be a liquid. Take whale song moving through the oceans. And in these two cases, the speed of sound, speed of sound is much faster, much faster than in air, than in air. The reason for that is because the particles in solids and liquids are closer together and they have stronger bonds between each particle and so the particles vibrate, they'll bump into their neighbor much faster. The range of human hearing, here we've got a speaker, electrical speaker that is uh, oscillating backwards and forwards uh, hundreds of times a second and each time it goes forwards it bumps into air molecules, bunches them up and that forms a compression, a compression which starts to move forwards. Now each of these air molecules is only being bumped backwards and forwards. They're vibrating backwards and forwards, causing these compressions to move forward. And so the range of human hearing, when these compressions reach the human ear and make the membrane of the eardrum vibrate, we can, we can hear down to about 20 waves a second. That's 20 hertz frequency, up to about 20,000 hertz. That's 20 kilohertz. Now, younger people can hear higher because they have better ears, their eardrums are more sensitive. So in a sound wave, particles oscillate parallel, parallel to the direction of the wave motion. And we know, therefore, that the sound wave is a type of longitudinal, longitudinal wave. Worth mentioning as well that, that sound waves can also be reflected, reflected off surfaces, and we call that echoes. Echoes can be diffracted. Diffracted, that means they'll spread out if they go through a gap uh, or if they go around an object. And if the object or the gap is about the same size as the, the wavelength, that's the distance from the, um, each compression to the next compression, then you'll see a lot of diffraction. And they can be refracted, refracted. If they were to move into a substance which has a different density, then they could change direction because their speed will change. So there are some properties of sound. And just remember that sound needs a, a medium and substance to travel through.